What's up, family? By now, I'm sure you're aware of rapper Takashi 69 getting jumped at a Florida gym. It did him bad, fam. Stomped him out. Sent him to the hospital. Now, a lot of people have been chiming in on this. There's been much celebration. A lot of people are saying, yeah, you know, he got what he deserved. Running that trap. The rat bit the cheese, and he got what he deserved. That's what they're saying. Snitches get stitches. Here's the deal, fam. While what happened to Takashi 69 was predicted by damn near everybody, you can see this coming from a mile away. The thing is, there's an angle that a lot of people ain't looking at. Everybody is saying, well, it happened because he didn't have his security with him, right? He didn't have his security, so that's why it went down. Not necessarily. See, fam, when somebody really want to get at you, they can get at you, even if you're the president of the United States. A determined mind is perhaps the most unstoppable force known to man. You get somebody who just don't care if they get caught. They don't care if they die. That is a very difficult person to stop. Exhibit A. Twin Towers and the rest of the stuff that happened. They didn't care. They didn't care about what happened to them. They were on a mission and they had a one track mind. And here's the thing, fam there have been a number of public figures who have been murdered with security in tow. Big Ed security. Podcast security. Security all around him. Reagan had security when he got popped up. Dude just didn't care. Didn't care if he got caught. So having security doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be okay. Because let me tell you something I know about security. And I'm not saying... This applies to all security, but this applies to almost all security. I don't care how tough they act. I don't care how big they are. I don't care how long they've been doing it. When them things come out and they get to dumping, man, they're going to duck and run, and it's going to be every man for himself. I don't even recall one time. I've seen a lot of gunplay. I don't recall one time seeing anybody jump in front of a bullet for another person, including their mama. I never seen anybody jump in front of a bullet. And those security guards are not going to jump in front of a bullet for anybody. See, it's easy to do that job when it ain't no real resistance. When you're a big guy and you're rolling through, you know, you got the mob, it's four, five, six, seven, eight of y'all, y'all moving, and y'all moving as one, y'all moving as one unit, y'all come through mobbing, you know, people getting out the way. See, that's cool, but what, what happens when somebody resists and they're also ready? They're ready for the gunplay. They're prepared. They actually got their guns. They're not ready like, okay, come kill us. They're ready. They got the guns, too. They're ready. They're ready for the gunplay. Now what happens? I can tell you what happens. In most cases, security is going to be scared to death. And whoever that is they're supposed to be protecting is going to be on their own. 
I'm telling you what I know, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I seen dudes you know, play that tough security role. I seen it. I seen them try to get down and they messed around and underestimated somebody. Dude was a damn near a whole foot shorter than them. And who did them bad. You know? So most people, when you come through, you got your security, most people will respect it. Most people will respect it. But some people ain't going to respect it. I don't care how heavy your security is. Some people are not going to respect it. And, you know, it would be just a matter of time if you're moving reckless before they catch up with you. It's only a matter of time before you get your ticket punched. Personally, I don't think Takashi 69 is going to retreat. I think, if anything, he's going to double down because you got to understand how he got on. You know, the reason why he got everybody's attention was the disrespect. And now since he's gone there, he got to stand on it. If he don't stand on it, I think it's going to affect his bottom line. And it just seems like to me that he's been willing to roll the dice on his life. He put beef before everything. So you could probably look for some type of uh, rebuttal in a song. Look some look for some type of uh, you know retaliation in a podcast or something. Hey, it might even go to a different level. You never know. On a personal note, once again, I wouldn't underestimate anybody. I don't care how small their legs are. What happened to six nine could happen to anybody. What happened to to Biggie, to Pac, to the president? It could happen to anybody. Again, fam, you're dealing, dealing with determined minds. You dig? So this is why it's important to make sure that you move in a way that's conducive to survival. And I'm going to tell you one last thing. I remember being in the Midwest and this guy who was working security for, for us he was talking at Big Six. Yo, Willie D, I got you, man. You know, I, you know, uh, I'm working about to go off for you tonight. And he was just talking real tough, like, yeah, man, I'm ready, doing all this stuff. I said, ooh, yo, yo, hold on, homeboy. I don't move like that, man. Like, can't nobody guard my body better than me. And the thing was is that you got some guys who are like that, some security guys who are like that, the big dudes. They think everybody going to bow down. They think everybody going to nut up, going to get scared just because they look intimidating. Not when you run across one of the real ones. You care nothing about no size. You can be a giant. You care nothing about that. Anybody can get it at any time. So my thing is when, when it comes to security, the best security is guys who can prevent altercations from happening, prevent their guy getting caught up in an altercation because they can kind of see it. They can peep game. They can look at, they can feel the room. They can read the room. They can read the energy. So they see things happening before it even take off. That's good security. Those guys, who, and some of them be in the clubs. They work the clubs, nightclubs. Those guys that be putting on those gloves and doing all this here, and they're going to get hurt. They're going to get hurt because everybody ain't playing. and Everybody not going to accept that proverbial uh, beat down and pick them up and throw them out the bar door. Hey, everybody ain't going to accept that. See, <laughs> Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk. What the haters talking about?